Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, this is Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And there's some hers on a future Hall of Famer, the Bronze Bomber, the Alabama Slammer, the man who tied Muhammad Ali with title defenses, the former WBC Heavyweight World Champion, and the hardest hitting heavyweight of all time, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, and the two time Heavyweight World Champion, current WBC Champion, you know, the, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Now listen, family. Y'all see this, man. Y'all see this. Self-explanatory. I say y'all see this. Self-explanatory. Deontay the Bronze Bomber is back, baby. He's back. For everybody that was out there trying to dog him out, talking about the mental issues, talking about he's a liar. Oh, he can't take a loss. Oh, he's just bitter. He don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's not going to have a leg to stand on. He's not going to have a leg to stand on. Looking at his people. Look at him, man. He's back and he's back with Avengers. He's back and he's back with Avengers. Ain't this what y'all was looking for? Y'all wanted him to get better? This is what y'all wanted, right? Y'all wanted him to get better, right? You know what I mean? And he's working his ass off. Told y'all wasn't nothing wrong with D, man. Shouts out to Tay. What's going down, Tay? Congratulations on that win, big dog. Look at that slip. Look at that slip. Ooh, look at that slip. Look at that slip. Quit playing with him. Now he's back. He's back and he's ready to put that work in. He's back and he's ready to put that work in. Coming for everything he owe. You know what I mean? Coming for everything he owe. Now, Tyson Fury is going through so many situations trying to make the fight happen with Anthony Joshua. Right? We got Bob Earn coming out here calling Eddie Hearn a liar. We got Frank Warren coming out here calling Eddie Hearn a liar, saying Eddie is the one talking about he's going to deliver this fight. Eddie is the one talking about, you know, oh, the contract going to be there this day and that day. And we almost, what, so damn, so damn many months in from the fucking announcement and getting the contract and nothing has transpired, right? So Bob Earn and, Eddie, and, and, and uh, Frank Warren is going to Eddie Hearn and they say this is the last week. If they don't come up with nothing, which you heard that already, you know, they moving on. But Tyson Fury, right, he said he's wanting to go never fight Wilder again. He said all these things, like Deontay Wilder was just out here throwing salt on his name, and he was wrong. And we all know they're in mediation right now. They're in mediation right now, still talking about this situation. And they don't have nothing set in stone for um, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. But y'all boys looked at Deontay Wilder as a light because y'all didn't like his fan base, right? Y'all want to shit on the fan base, and y'all just think Deontay Wilder is a racist. A lot of people out there, you know what I mean? You got cats out here, you know, every time they do an interview with somebody new, they want to bring up Deontay Wilder and try to, you know, disrespect his claim on what he think happened inside the ring and want to just, you know, throw dirt on his name at the same time claiming to be a fan, and they really is a Deontay Wilder hater right now. But D is back, man. D is back, and a lot of y'all people don't like it. I don't care about your feelings right now. We gonna keep this shit all the way real, and we gonna stick to the nouns, right? We gonna stick to the right nouns. Deontay Wilder, right, is still one of the hottest fucking fighters in the game. Kept himself relevant without even running his mouth, right? Without even running his mouth, he kept himself relevant. Now, right, we know that D needs an opponent. He needs an opponent. His mind is clear. He's not worrying about nothing. Tyson Fury, he needs an opponent. Even though it's looking like it's going to be Anthony Joshua, that shit's not looking like it's a clear cut and dry. You feel me? Like I say, we're hearing so many things. This, that, that, and this. Right? The fight supposed to take place here. Um, Bob Arm saying he's not coming up off of X amount of dollars. Right? For the site fee. Um, Eddie Hearn is out there. He's lying about contracts being signed, sealed, and delivered. Right? So, we got to sit up and wait a whole nother, what, month or so? Probably not even a month. Maybe another two weeks. To really see if something to transpire with these dudes after they didn't set up here and told us all these lies about this fight being a two fight deal now it turned into a one fight deal and, and people are really eating this shit up and they just they just want it to happen bro and i don't knock you if you want to see fury versus joshua it ain't a bad fight right it's a hell of a fight you know it's the the best of the best of the heavyweight division right it's just the stipulation that's come with the fight and the things that tyson fury has to do to be a man before this fight take place now, I mean, before this fight take place, we all know the backstory. We all know the backstory. 
But right now, bro, Fever needed an opponent. Wilder needed an opponent. Joshua needed an opponent. You know what I mean? The right now is Fury and, and, and Wilder had, had contract obligations to fight each other in a trilogy fight. You know what I'm saying? In a trilogy fight that should have been took place, and we won't even have to worry about this shit. We won't even have to worry about this shit. But this is the truth of the matter. Fury knows that it was him and his team that pushed the date back. It wasn't Deontay Wilder. They don't have any proof of it being Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder don't have no reason to lie to come out and say, okay, we agreed to the November 17th date, but then we pushed it back, right? Whatever day it was in November. Don't just quote me on the 17th, but I'm quite sure I think it was the 17th. But whatever date it was on November, you know what I mean? But it's just like when Bob Arm them, they got their sights. I mean, sorry, not their sights, but they set their eyes on Anthony Joshua when Eddie Hearn started wanting to make the fight happen. And they and what they thought about is the money, the greed. Just like Frank Warren said, well, of course we want him to be right, right? I don't want I don't want him to be wrong. I want him to be right because of the money situation. Everybody is gonna go. Man, everybody's gonna eat. Everybody's gonna get money, right? So they just worry about the money. They want to fill up their coffers. They're not worrying about Fury being a fucking a man of his word to give Deontay Wilder his trilogy, which gonna make a whole lot of fucking money as well. You know what I'm saying? But they're not worrying about that. They worrying about their own coffers and which one they feel like they can benefit off of. And right now, they believe that they can benefit more off Anthony Joshua than Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? Because the fight is an undisputed bout. Joshua got three scraps. Fury got one. You know, the the uh, you know the Middle Eastern won it. They want the fight. Supposedly want the fight. Supposedly $150 million on the table for the site fee and all these things and all this shit. So, it's really nothing really set in stone. Otherwise, uh, Frank Warren won't be talking the way he's talking pissed off. And Bob Arum damn sure won't be talking the way he's talking pissed off. And we all know Bob Arum won't pay back on Eddie Hearn ass for trying to steal the Teofimo Lopez fight. You know what I'm saying? Bob ain't gonna let shit go. He go, he go laugh and joke because, you know, this is the big business deal. But in the back of his head, he telling Eddie Hearn, I got something for your little slick ass. You know what I mean? I got something for your little slick ass. You think you can come over here and just talk real fast and, and try to steal my prized possessions away from me? Come over here, try to take my fighters and put them on the zone or steal my fighters and take them over there and you get paid off of it? Okay, I got something for your ass. You want to play that game? I'm the king of playing that game. I've been doing this shit for 70-something years. 70. I done touched all the tough fighters there was, all the top fighters, Hall of Fame fighters. Arguably, every every Hall of Fame fighter that you want to say that, they can arguably be the GOAT. I, I almost had my hands in on them, right? So you want to play with me, a Harvard graduate? I'm Bobby motherfucking Arms, boy. You better go learn. I'm Bobby Arms. You better go learn. That rhymes, y'all. I'm Bobby Arms. You better go learn. Eddie Hearn. Or get your ass burned for trying to steal my turn. You feel me? Burn like a bad perm. Let me set my corny ass up. But nonetheless, fam, look. He need an opponent. Wilder need an opponent. Joshua need an opponent. Joshua still have Usyk right there for him. Wilder and Fury can handle their business with the trilogy. Get that out the way. Then the winners meet up with each other because Deontay Wilder, right, he deserves his opportunity to go out there and get his title back. He deserves it, bro. Tyson Fury know he deserves it. Tyson Fury know deep down in his heart as a man, as a man, Wilder deserved that, that third shot because he gave your ass two opportunities, dog. He didn't give you one opportunity. He gave you two opportunities to redeem yourself and to make your name and to put yourself back on your feet as one of the top dogs in the heavyweight division, bro. That was because of Deontay Wilder, not because of nobody else. I don't want to care. Oh, he made the fight. You know, my man, Dan. No, Dan. Dan made the fight. Oh, shots out to Dan. He made the fight. Dan picked me up off the couch. Ben did this. Dan did. No, Dan ain't do shit. Wilder did that. Wilder the one said, let's go ahead and fight this motherfucker. You feel me? Go ahead and get your big ass in shape. Drop 160 pounds and bring your big ass on to get in this ring and fight me and get the people what they want to see. You know what I mean? Then did it a second time and waited. When he didn't have to wait, he was a champ. He still waited for your ass to go out there, go to the WWE, and get two more fights in and get your confidence together, and he came back and fought you. But now you're telling me you can't wait a few months to get this man his rematch? You know what I'm saying? You can't wait a few months to give him his rematch? You know? Y'all wouldn't even be in mediation with the court right now if you would have just agreed to the rematch. You feel me? That, would've, that won't even be going on right now, dog. But nonetheless, Wilder did what he had to do. Wilder is back. Wilder's in great shape. Wilder got Malik Scott right there showing him tricks and trades. He moving like this and moving like that. Sticking into the body. Faint. You know what I mean? Looking good on his feet, baby. Looking good on his feet. Tyson Fury out there training his ass off. 
I mean, look at him. He got the weight down. He ready to go. Wilder looking in great shape. He ready to go. You know what I mean? Be a man, Tyson Fury. Be a man. Get Wilder his fucking trilogy. And if you beat him, you shut everybody the fuck up. You shut everybody up. Everybody. All that glove gay shit. All the water spike. Everything that's out here that's pinned against you goes out the window, bro. Goes out the window. You want to know why? Because everybody only remembers the last fight. Everybody only remembers the last fight. That's why if we have three fights, I beat you the first time. You beat me the second time. I beat you the third time. You know, I'm going to be the man to be remembered because I got your ass the third time. Yeah, Fury beat that boy the second time, though. He got him. Yeah, it's all good, though, but I got his ass the third time. So it's two out of three, and I got that boy. I got him. And that's going to be the last fight burnt into people's heads. So the last fight burnt into people's heads, you know, is you out there doing what you did to Deontay Wilder. And a lot of people feel a certain way about that shit. A lot of people feel a certain way about it. But right now, you and Deontay Wilder make a whole lot of fucking money. And you saying you're ready to fight. You tired of waiting around. Eddie Hearn, you know, he bullshit and say somebody go send a contract. You said yourself, April the 13th. If he didn't have a contract in by April the 13th or something like that, you was walking away, bro. You was walking away. It's April the 28th, homie. It, that's 15 days later, if I'm not mistaken. It's April the 28th. That's two weeks later, dog. Two weeks later. Matter of fact, two weeks in a day. Let's get if we want to be technical about it. Two weeks in a day. Now Frank Warren saying, you know, this is the last week for them to come up with something. Well, Tyson Fury, the horse said it was April the 13th. And y'all still waiting for this motherfucker to come up with some shit. Still waiting. That's two weeks later. So now we're supposed to wait another week. I'm, I'm going to wait another week. Let's see what happened. I'm going to wait another week, but I'm going to tell y'all this, dog. The bronze bomber is in the driver's seat. He's in the driver's seat, right? For Fury to say, I'll never fight him again, and to turn around and say, oh, you know what? Fury might I have, might have to just fight Wilder, you know, fight Wilder, fight Wilder. It says a lot. It says a lot, and people don't pick up on that because they don't care. They want to see Wilder done. They want to see him out. They want to see him diminished. They want to see him finished, but it ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to happen. They want to see Wilder done. They want to see him out. They want to see him diminished. They want to see him finished. But it ain't going to happen. Too mentally tough for you boys. When y'all sitting back talking about, he's not mentally tough. He's weak. Oh, man, Wilder's going through something. Wilder's this, man. Wilder's sitting back chilling, laughing, shooting guns, chilling with his family, having fun, getting back in shape, ready to go back in that ring and take what was stolen from him. And take what was stolen from him. You feel me? So right now, dog, Tyson Fury is in a fucking bond. Tyson Fury, Frank Warner, Bob Irm, y'all better get y'all shit together. Get y'all shit together and holler at the motherfucker Alabama Slammer, man. Make that trilogy happen. Give him what he fucking is deserving. Be a man about this shit, right? And if y'all get the W, dog, guess what? You got everybody off y'all goddamn back. You can sleep well at night. You know what I mean? And y'all just made a lot of fucking money and still can make more money by going to the Anthony Joshua fight for Undisputed with a clean slate and nobody can count your motherfucking victory as a cheating ass victory. You know what I'm saying? If you victorious against Anthony Joshua, because I still got Anthony Joshua knocking you out. Still got Anthony Joshua knocking you out. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. You dig what I mean? But nonetheless, family, Deontay Wilder's back for the big payback. He's ready to get back in that ring, take what was stolen from him, put this work in. Let's see if Tyson Fury and this team step up to the plate, tell Eddie Hearn, kick rocks, go play with somebody else, go on over there, get you, um, go get um, Usyk, Alexander Usyk, put him in the ring with Joshua. If Joshua get past him, right? Then we'll see what's happening down the line. But right now, we're going to be a man, get Deontay Wilder what he's old, and stop playing games with the people. Stop playing games with the people. Let's go, D. Bomb squad! Until then, it's your boy, Mike. It's the NSBC movie. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate OG money on Cash App. Try have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status.